How y'all doing? What's up, YouTube family? Welcome to From Indicted to Invited. Today's topic is understanding women. And I'm gonna get I might get some backlash for this video, right? But I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna see if anybody agree with me when I say this, right? Before we get started, go and hit the like button, the cash up upper left hand corner. I feel like, man, my for me to get a better grasp on, on God and, and his son Jesus, our, you know, our savior, right? And and the whole creation of, of this planet and the people on this planet. For me to navigate successfully and to raise my spirit and get closer to God. I figured out that, man, I need to have a better understanding of women. You got different races on this planet. You know what I mean? But God only created man and a woman. And they are different. They are different. All the other races, all that stuff don't mean nothing. That's racism and you saying they different and all of that. God created man and a woman. They are different. And I'm going to get into some things. I'm going to I'm gonna share some things about my personal life, my marriage and stuff like that. And what I figured out is I'm married to my wife, but it's certain things. I needed to know about my wife. Not because she's my wife, just because she's a woman, right? She's a woman. And to take it back and connect the two together, we're going to talk about Adam and Eve, right? And I did some research. And a lot of people feel that God punished Eve harder than Adam. Of course, Eve Eve bit the apple first and she convinced Adam to bite it. And Adam chose Eve over God by biting it. You know what I'm saying? So some people say the menstrual cycle came from that. That was part of the punishment to 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 have a monthly uh, cleaning cycle of impurities. You know what I'm saying? And even that, right? My wife's, you know, monthly cycle, bro. I kind, I feel sorry for it, bro. Like, you know, we take it for granted when you know when you know somebody have a period, a female have a period and stuff like that, and we take it for granted. Oh, it's just, you know, it's just something that comes and it, it becomes common to us, right? But the headaches that my wife have and the way it makes her feel, bro, I feel sorry. I, it's, I feel like it's really a curse. It really is a curse, man, and it affects other people. I never heard a woman wish for menopause to come. <laughs> like my wife, be like, hurry up and get here. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Man, you know, like, like, I was locked up for 15 years. Basically in solitude in my thoughts and myself and keeping to myself. And I wouldn't even fellowship in the church because I felt like most of the guys who went to church was there going to church for the wrong reasons. And I didn't want to be around those kind of dudes. So even when I'm out here, right? So we look at, we're talking 20, 21 years all together. And I'm basically to myself while my wife, who I'm not married to, was in several relationships. Right? And let me tell you something. My wife have a her meter for accepting bullshit by any man is at a very low level, bro. She is not fuck listen. She see it right off. You know what I mean? So sometimes when she be at a, a 10, I'm at a 2. And I can't understand how she's at a 10. Then I realize it's the history. 
I might have had one serious relationship in the early 90s, you know, before getting arrested in 2002. So I was playing the whole time and I ain't, I never had kids and stuff like that. And that's another thing, like, you know, and not to give y'all some personal shit about my life, but that's another thing my wife talks to me about. The, bi the biological connection with your own child. Like I would never know, I would never know that feeling if I don't have kids. You know what I mean? But not only that, right? Right? Like when I think about God and my purpose, like I haven't heard, like I don't know what my purpose is, right? And I feel like, bro, like my purpose now, I'm starting to feel that I was supposed to go to prison. I was supposed to be on here talking about it and stuff like that. And uh, I'm really, am might be helping some people in ways that I never helped somebody before. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you this, right? And I'm gonna try to uh, see if y'all can, can, can understand what I'm trying to say, right? You got friends, right? You got male friends, right? Some of your male friends got boys, no girls, that's kids. And some got girls, no boys, right? Or they can have girls, like more girls than boys or whatever. Anybody who have a, have you ever noticed a man who has uh, girls for kids? Or their characteristics are different from the guy raising the boys. Don't they seem more sensitive and more understanding when you talk to them, right? And the way they speak, the, it comes out, the reflection of like, like love and compassion comes out more than the guy who's raising the boys. You see what I mean by understanding women is, 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 is a way to understand the almighty. Right? Remember I was telling y'all about the when a female officer comes into the into the unit, we might get a, a cute ass female officer working the unit that day, and how the men, you know, you see them laid back most of the time and chilling, and they don't, you know, they doing them real smooth time. Then you see them get out of their hookup and out of their character when a woman come in here. You know, want to be cooking and shit. They come out all creased up with the khakis, with the all white kitchen whites, and you know they iron it up. They got all the creases and shit. And they over there by the microwave because the microwave is where she's sitting at in the office. You know what I mean? And they talking loud so she can hear them trying to get her attention. You know, all this kind of stuff. The effect that a woman have on a man, bro, is so powerful, bro. Adam chose Eve over God. When that serpent came and said, and wasn't nothing going to happen. Right? Adam looked at Eve, he knew right from wrong, and he still went, he went against God. The power of a woman, bro. You know what I mean? And I'm one of those guys, right? I feel like the early stages of our history and religion and stuff, I feel like God took away free will to create stories for us to have faith. You know what I mean? Like, how can Satan fall from heaven? How are you up there with God and decide I want to go, I'm, I want to do something different? Like, ain't no way, bro. You know, it's like, that's God did, that's God's doing. How can Jesus tell the disciples, one of you will betray me, and it happened? Because it was already, they took away the free will. They made Judas the bad guy. Like I told y'all, y'all know Judas was the most intelligent disciple. When Jesus used to be talking, they used to be riddles to the rest of the disciples. They never understood really what Jesus was saying, what Judas did. So God chose Judas to be the one in the, for our storybooks, for the text. This is my understanding. And I said this before. God told Moses to go to Pharaoh and tell him to set your people free. But he also told Moses, oh, he's going to tell you no. Because I did that to him. Like, 
You see what I'm saying? So a lot of that stuff, that that stuff back in the day, I feel like it was God took away free will to create us for something to have faith. How can uh, somebody be in heaven with God and fall out? Like, God decided that he needed to have an adversary. God created the devil and everything else. God decided he needed to have an adversary. He needed to give people a choice of who they wanted to follow. I'm trying to connect the two to, the two together because I'm looking at women, right? And I and I and I've uh, when I talk to my wife and me and my wife have conversations, and we, when we when we do communicate, when I can get over my communication issues and stuff like that, it's spiritual. It is spiritual to me. Do you hear what I'm saying? It is spiritual. When me and my wife communicate, it is spiritual. I feel like my like my spirit is raised. All my chakras are raised when I communicate with my wife. She has pains that she went through that I haven't experienced yet. She know, she know the characteristics of, of sabotage in relationships when she can see it from a mile away. I can't see it. I can't see it. You ever been with a woman that you so afraid of disappointing because you feel like you a loser or she was like, you ever been with a woman who's always think the grass is greener on, on the other side as soon as adversity come oh man you know and they blame you for shit and blah 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 you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying what i mean by understanding a woman right we have to understand like uh before you get in a relationship you have to understand how women are period not just the woman that you want to be in a relationship with The women in my family, right? When I compare the women to the men in my family, the women got it going on. They more responsible. They more patient. Like the women in my family, they more secure right now because the men are like, they fucking like, they, the men in my family are fucking, uh, we just irresponsible. We throw rocks at the penitentiary, right? We don't have patience. We want, we want money right now. That's why you see a lot of men, they just get the woman, they go to work, or they do whatever they're doing if they're hustling. They make the woman, they get they just get the money to the woman, like, here, you handle all the responsibility, the bills, take care of everything. Because that's what they're good at doing. And if you think about it, that's the man shit. So what, I might be the one to go out to get the money or do it, whatever, right? I still supposed to be the one to be like, okay, blah, they, blah, this was late last month, blah, they, blah, let me make sure this goes in. I don't need my wife to be able to do that. And a lot of times, right, no matter how much money you bring home, you can lose your love, you can lose her because of this reason. You're just not in tune enough. Yeah, okay, you make good money and you, and you make sure... And, you know, you give me the money for the bills, but you're missing in other areas. You're just not involved enough. It's in my humble opinion, right? Understanding a woman is spiritual. Understanding, understanding of a woman or women, it is spiritual. Once you understand what a woman really are or who women really are, you will be closer to God. This is Invited to Invited.